We are dependent on our planet for our food, our water and our energy. Yet the way we live has a dramatic impact on these natural resources. As humans, we are responsible for the loss of tropical rainforests and contribute to climate change and the melting Arctic ice. We're also responsible for the other carbon dioxide problem, the acidification of our oceans. The more carbon dioxide we produce, the more our seas absorb. And for the marine life who call the ocean home, their future is far from certain. At the University of Bristol, members of the Cabot Institute are leading the way in understanding how carbon dioxide affects the creatures that live in the sea, the very creatures on which so many animals and humans depend. Scientists at Bristol are providing world leaders and policymakers with information they need to save our biggest and our most important natural resource, our oceans. And save them, we must. Thousands of students need financial help to make university accessible, just like I did. Some need help even earlier to realise that we all have potential. We just need to believe it. Studying at Bristol changed my life. If I hadn't received a sports scholarship and been able to train as I did while studying for my degree, I wouldn't be where I am now, playing rugby for England. Supporting students at Bristol isn't just about offering bursaries and scholarships. It's about making sure study spaces are comfortable, that the books in the library are up to date, and that students have opportunities to flourish in societies, sports clubs and enterprise activities. It's about creating an environment where students think anything is possible. When you study medicine, you do so with a very clear idea of what you want to achieve. You want to help others and save lives. That's why I'm so pleased to tell you how groundbreaking research at Bristol is giving thousands of people the chance of a brighter future. An estimated 44 million people suffer with dementia around the world. Scientists at the university are investigating whether drugs more commonly used to treat high blood pressure could improve the quality of life for those affected by this debilitating condition. Around 1 in 180 babies in the UK is born with congenital heart disease. And thanks to scientists at Bristol, those children may soon need just one operation, not several, so they spend less time in hospital and more time at home. With every day and every donation, Bristol is making a big difference to children, adults and families around the world. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.